we definitely want to thank everyone who's joined us uh, today uh, for the live stream, and definitely want to thank everyone who is also has, has a perception on kit. Uh, you guys are one of the few, uh, you know, you guys have joined a revolution of mocap, uh, democratizing uh, motion capture. And uh, we made it very uh, affordable, available for a lot of uh, studios, all, all sorts of studios. And uh, it's great to see all the, you know, use cases, anything from VFX, gaming, uh, to biomechanics. Uh, you know, there's so many things that you can do with the suit um, at this point. So, um, I think we're good to start now, and uh, uh, so again, thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and just start a quick tutorial on how to do a workflow with, uh, you know, Character Creator with Relusions um, tools. Yeah, Relusions tools include Character Creator, iClone, and not only the iClone, but also using the uh, MoCap plugin for Perception Run. Uh, so we're going to briefly show you a quick um, step on how to use uh, you know the the workflow from scratch. A lot of you guys are you know kind of asking. Uh, you know you know everyone has different um, you know uh, experience on using you know the systems like this. Uh, a lot of novice are you know a bit timid on using the system. Uh, we're just here to tell you that there's a lot of tools out there for you to, for you to use straight out of the box. Um, very very um, easy to use. Very user friendly. And uh, don't shy away from using these tools. Uh, if you, again, if you guys have any questions, shoot us an email um, at, our, at our email. I'll put it up in a little bit uh, so that we can uh, kind of give you, you know, a walkthrough or anything, any information that we might have on how to use it. Uh, so definitely don't shy away. Uh, this is for any, all, all kinds of uh, profession, either from novice to professional. Uh, you know, first of all, you want to know where to start. And this is a, a, one of the best tips I can give you of where to start with creating a character and recording animation inside of a 3D software. All right. So before I start, I want to show you my uh, screen here. Uh, this is our email uh, for, um, for our contact. And uh, contact at neuromocap.com. And I want to make sure you guys hear that out. Emails. Send us any contact uh, information, any, any feedback, any questions, concerns. Uh, we want to hear from you guys. Uh, we want to connect with you guys. And, and, and we want to be part of your team as well. So, uh, you know, if we hear from you guys, you know, that's, that's more, you know, that makes us happier. <laughs> you know, we know that you guys are, are, you know, using the system in an amazing, uh, great, exciting ways. So that's always a, a positive. Um, uh, so yeah, definitely. Uh, also, not only do we have um, contact at neuromocap.com as our, our, our comment portal, but also we have a help desk. Um, I put the link up there for you guys can uh, check out our help desk. Uh, there's a lot of quick, um, you know, uh, quick start guides. Uh, there's a lot of questions, you know, that you guys might have. Uh, if you don't see anything there, please shoot us an email uh, so that we can, you know, post this up. We update it. We'll we'll ke we'll keep you guys in the loop. Uh, definitely we want to hear from you guys, so um, I can't, you know, uh, shy away from that. So uh, that's, that's our um, help desk, our, our help desk uh, link, uh, so that we can uh, hear, uh, you know, you guys can use that as your self-support. Obviously, if you guys uh, don't find any, anything uh, on that area, then just basically send us an email and contact at neuromocap.com, okay? All right, guys, so let's get started with... Um, uh, character creation. A lot of you guys aren't aware, but character creator is actually included with uh, Relusions iClone 7. If we go here to the uh, left hand corner here, I uh, just want to show you guys that you have the option to create uh, all kinds of characters from male to female, uh, all different kind of portions and, and body sizes that you want. You also have the option to um, select, uh, you know, you know, different uh, skin color, different uh, body. Um, you know, frame if you want. Uh, right now, by default, there's a female here uh, that you can kind of zoom in. And it's really cool how, the, you know, the, 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 the quality of animation, uh, the quality of render that you find in this software. Now, this is uh, all thanks to the power of Relusions. Uh, the guys work really good, really hard on this um, render engine for you to work, for you to, to, to look at the, um, you know, the, the 3D characters for you. And uh, so I'm going to start with a basic character, male character, uh, base male, for example. And let's load that project up. 
and uh, right away you'll see the character here. It's you know there's it's pretty base. Uh, there's you know this is pretty pretty average um, uh, male here, and he has uh, you know right now <laughs> obviously there's no no clothes on it, but this is a start. You know this is where you want to kind of get an idea of how you want your character to look like. Um, uh, by default, you know there's a lot of features here. You know that are, that are standard. Um, so. Uh, there's a couple of ways you want to, you can, you can manipulate the character. And just to give you a quick tip, you have uh, what they call as morphs here. And morphs are just kind of like, you know, a different body, uh, you know, edits that you want to do on the character. Uh, maybe you want the character to be a little bit pudgy, maybe you want it to be a little bit skinny, uh, you know, however you want, depending on what your character you want to, to look like. Um, here's full body options. Uh, here's the head options that you can select for the character. Uh, here's uh, kind of, you know, the you know the torso and the body. Uh, you, you can select the teeth. You can select the eyes if you want. Uh, just to show you really quick how it looks. If I want to select uh, base male here, uh, double click and simply uh, instantly it loads into um, a character creator. Uh, so that's one one option that you can also uh, modify. If you look here to the right side, you're going to see another option here, uh, modify uh, for the morphs. Uh, this gets a little bit more in detail. Uh, you have a little bit, you know, for the arms, for the hands, uh, chest, uh, torso, waist, leg, uh, foot. And, uh, you know, you can, you can manipulate all these sliders, uh, you know, that, that you want. Uh, maybe, you know, you can kind of move uh, the foot scale here for the character. I uh, just kind of give you a good example. Uh, maybe you want to make a hobbit or something <laughs> in this case. That's a really cool feature. Uh, maybe you're not a slider person. You also have the option to um, uh, make edits on top of the character. So you see those little yellow um, uh, highlights around the character. Um, I can go ahead and just kind of scroll around the area and then just kind of drag and, and, and drag left and right. And you can, you know, manipulate the character's, uh, um, you know, dimensions there, I can give them a little bit more, you know, a little bit less arm, long arm. Uh, you know, you can have fun with this. And, and you know, if you guys want to, you know, pay attention to this, this is awesome because this is real time. Um, it's working flawlessly right now. I'm working out of my laptop here. Uh, and it's not, you know, lagging or anything at all. So this is really great um, to tools to, to, to feel, you know, to use. Um, you know, you can even go in details into uh, changing the character's face. Um, you know, maybe give them less chin, kind of make them a little bit skinnier on the face if you want. Uh, you can also change the forehead size, maybe, you know, temple right there. Um, so this is, this is kind of like the more uh, features that you can do inside of uh, Character Creator. Uh, let's say, for example, you want to change maybe um, a couple of more attributes on the texture. There's also options to do so um, if you want. And uh, for this example on the male, um, if you go into this option here where it says appearance, uh, make sure you have your actor selected and you activate appearance editor. And let's just give it a, a few more minutes. So there's a lot of textures in this uh, character, so it's uh, loading all the features on the character. And uh, once this is finished, you're going to see a lot of um, uh, added uh, options here. So you're going to see skin body, head, eyelash, all these kind of features you can edit and texture. So a lot of people like to, um, you know, they, maybe they want to change the skin color, for example. Uh, you can actually deselect, you can maximize this um, option here and you can maximize the skin and then go to body base. Uh, in body va uh, base, you can change the color and tone of the character. You know, maybe I want to make them darker, maybe lighter. Um, I can kind of move those features there. Uh, and then, you know, that's kind of a cool feature that you can do. Uh, maybe I want to make him a little bit, you know, just kind of, he's kind of got a little bit of sun out there. He's, he just came from the beach or something and then kind of give him a little bit more uh, a darker hue and, and on, his, on his skin color there. Um, you also have the option to add um, age to the character as well. Uh, right now, this guy looks like a 20-year-old. Right now, I'm kind of adjusting him, you know, left and right, and I can add a little bit of wrinkles. And now he's looking a little bit maybe around his 50s or on his uh, 80s or something. You know, uh, you can see I'm, I'm basically I'm still on the, on the body option, right? So 
Uh, you know, you can also, maybe you want to add some age to his face, for example. Um, in that case, I would go into skin head here and then select the uh, skin on the option and then go to head base and you, you'll see the same features here. Uh, the tone, you can kind of uh, light them up, brighten them a little bit here. Uh, and then you also have the options to kind of give them a little bit extra pores, uh, or a little bit of roughness on the forehead if you want. Uh, it's very subtle here. Uh, uh, you know, so you also have the option to kind of um, change the texture on his lips, for example. Maybe I want to put him uh, drier, and I can adjust the, 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 the effect on the character. Um, so you can, you know, basically, you know, have freedom to try to create a good base character in this case. Um, so, you know, this is kind of really cool features that you can do. Uh, there's endless options that you can uh, play around with here. Uh, you know, there, there's endless possibilities with this. You can add, uh, you know, age to his uh, chin, you know, for example. See that now he's looking a little bit rough, a little bit more age. Um, and then let me see if I can kind of adjust his chin just a little bit. I can adjust his nose. So, you know, these, these are cool things that you can do with uh, Character Creator. So once you're done with that, um, you know, you know, it's up to you how you want to create your character. Um, it's just, you know, a thousand possibilities. Um, you can also, you can go ahead and continue into the uh, the clothing. Uh, for the clothing, you would want to go into the content here, and then you have options here to select from different kinds of clothing. Uh, you have base clothing. You have overall clothing for the T-shirts for uh, shoes, for pants, uh, you know, dresses. Um, now, there's more options out there. You can actually go into Real Illusion's content store, uh, and, and, and they have um, add-ons onto this to, to dress up your character. Um, but for the example right now, we're just creating a basic character because we want to show you guys how to, how to you know, work with the workflow. So, so let's, let's dress up the character, you know. Uh, right now, we have different selections of jeans. Um, I'm just going to pick a generic jean. And uh, there you go, that's kind of a, a generic gene. You also have the option to um, change uh, textures on the gene as well. The same procedure as we did to the skin, just activate appearance editor and you have a bunch of textures to play around. You can add dirt, you can add you know, different uh, decals on the, on the, on the character's uh, pants if you want. Um, so let's also add a t-shirt here. And let's add this t-shirt here uh, and then now our, our character is almost fully clothed, and uh, let's add some shoes, just any kind of shoes. Um, now you'll see that there's also you know uh, assets for for a female character as well. Um, you do have the option obviously to create a female if you'd like. Uh, in this case, for the male, we just you know get the shoes for the male. So this is you know really 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 simple um, to to use. Uh, so once we're ready to go with our character, um, uh, the guys at Realusion took out the guesswork out of importing a character into Realusion uh, iClone. Uh, they actually have a feature that goes instantly into iClone 7, so if you go here to the top left, uh, you have an option here that says send character to iClone. And uh, you also have the option to export iAvatar if you want. But for this example, we want to go straight into Realusion's iClone 7. So I'm, I'll go ahead and click on this option here, and instantly what you're going to see is that the character is going to be um, is going to be exported into iClone 7. Uh, so once that's done and ready to go, um, I can see here that I'm getting a little um, notification that there's an update on this uh, application, and you'll see my character is already in iClone 7. Uh, you know, and and I'm seeing basically the same. Uh, features I had added into um, in Character Creator. Um, so already, you know, this is really cool, very instant, very easy. Um, I, I'm basically just kind of uh, creating a, an older gentleman here. Uh, you know, and just for, for the sake of the tour, you know, just so that you guys understand that Realusion is a very powerful tool for 3D. Uh, and you can create, uh, you know, base, base uh, mesh in here. You can uh, you know, populate um, assets into the into your 3D scene, so you can create environments. 
uh, you know, and, and, and also you guys, I uh, want you guys to also see that um, inside of Real Illusion 9 Clone 7, that this is real time, you know, this is, this is, I'm not rendering right now, this is real time. So you, you see the shadows, you see the creases, you know, it's rendering in real time. Um, uh, what's cool about Real Illusion as well is that they also added, if you go into the um, avatar here options, they also have some um, default characters as well that you can use uh, just to kind of, you know, place your characters, kind of set your scene up. And so you can kind of create either, you know, a, a really basic, you know, kind of like uh, animation uh, uh, a setting, you know, you know, those are, those are things that are great. If you're, you know, working, you know, you want to work fast. Uh, so Real Illusion is really great if you want to work really fast uh, just to create, you know, amazing, great content. Uh, so it's one of those things, tools that, that it's really uh, great to, to know. So, so uh, I'm going to add a floor here uh, so that we can continue here. I'll add a floor. So I'm going to go into the content area here. And I will select here on the prop. And uh, let's go into 3D blocks. Uh, I have the option to add a floor as well. Uh, you know, there's, there's a few options here. So I'll double click here and so that you can see that this is, you know, so that you, you can feel the depth of, of that right now. You know, they have options here for, for anything like wall. Uh, very, very fast, intuitive, very easy. Uh, very simple to use, and I'm, I'm just going at this, you know, really, really fast because I want you, to, I want you guys to see that, you know, I'm not really uh, going, you know, too in depth with, you know, modeling. I'm just kind of setting up the scene right now, so you guys can see what what the powerful tool this uh, Relusion Seven uh, is right now. Um, and and the good thing about this uh, as well, they included some really awesome um, assets in the store here as well. Uh, this comes in by default. Uh, I want to say if I want to add a couch here, uh, just wait for that to populate. And here's a couch. And um, so this is the couch you can see is really nice rendered. This is live, you know, I'm not rendering anything. This is live. This is um, iClone 7's uh, PBR system, a really, really nice tool. Uh, you know, just it's lifetime live, live um, updated uh, rendering uh, engine for you. So. Once we have that set up, my character is ready to go. I have the scene, um, you know, kind of uh, set up, and this is just kind of, uh, you know, you know, really, really, really simple. Uh, just to, to show you guys what's uh, what's in Real Illusion uh, Clone Seven. I'll go back into my scene and I'll select my character um, because uh, we want to start. I want to animate this character, right? So uh, my character is ready to animate. He's already in default T pose. Um, I have right now uh, my, my, my colleague here, Louis. Uh, he's actually suited up with the Perception Neuron suit. And uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into Axis Neuron um, portion of it. So uh, this part of it, it's, we're going to open Axis Neuron. And right now we're gonna, we see Louis is connected. Uh, just go ahead and uh, connect. If I go to disconnect, um, and then I'm going to reconnect him again. And so you can see this is all live. OK, so this is Lewis right now. Uh, he is live. And I want you guys to know that this is uh, live right now. It's, it's being transmitted live right now so that you guys can see the very simple steps and, and, and kind of create a character into and put them into your scene and have them animated with, with Perception Neuron. So uh, we're going to dive deep into Axis Neuron. Very simple. Uh, I want to stream this data into Real Illusion Icon 7. So uh, if, before I go ahead and do that, I need to make sure Axis Neuron set up properly. So I go into Settings. Uh, you, you have a couple of options here, General, Output Format, Shortcuts, Advanced, Broadcasting. Uh, so uh, what we're looking for is Broadcasting. Uh, definitely click on TCP. This is a communication protocol we use for for um, access around into iClone Real Illusion 7. Um, so uh, click on Enable for BBH, uh, and that's that's it. Very simple. Just press OK, and that's ready to go. Um, Lewis is live right now, so I'm, I'll go ahead and jump into iClone uh, 7, and 
on the scene, um, uh, just make sure that your character is selected. Right now he's highlighted, you have those little corners making, just letting you know that it's live. Uh, go to plugins, perception run, dual. Now depending on what plugin you have, uh, some of you might have iClone's uh, perception run uh, solo, perception run dual. Um, perception run solo lets you capture just one character inside of iClone uh, 7. Uh, perception run dual lets you capture up to two. Uh, so right, we're, right now we're showing Perception on two, uh, for, for two um, streams uh, on Perception on Duel. So let's click on this uh, option here, and uh, you can see here that you have several options here to connect. Um, you remember those numbers that we saw on the other window, of Axis Neuron? This is basically we're streaming local. Um, right now the port is seven thousand one. This is on by default, uh, and then. We're saying source, this is a source from Axis Neuron. Actor one, this is the first actor that we populate inside of, um, inside of Axis Neuron. And then this is target, target iClone. Uh, for, you know, where do you want the animation to go to? You know, which character? Um, you might have five characters. You, you know, maybe you just want to animate for one character, for example. So in this case, I have CC standard. This is um, basically the, the same uh, mesh that I brought in from character creator. Um, so everything's set up. I'm, I want full body uh, for sure. And then once I'm ready, everything's looking good. So I'll just hit connect. And once I hit connect, um, you'll see nothing has happened yet. Uh, right now, what's happening be behind the scenes is that there's actually data streaming uh, from, there's communication going on from, from Access Neuron to uh, Religion's uh, iClone 7. Uh, so in order for you to see the animation, um, you want to hit preview. So once I hit preview, um, instantly you see the character. Uh, you, you see the character starting to read uh, Lewis's animation. In this case, he's he's just standing very still, and he's uh, performing right now. So you know this is live right now, um, kind of um, a demonstration right now. Uh, right now we're we're set up with uh, perception on uh, wireless. So. He's not tied up into a cage. He's not tied up into, or he's not tethered through USB. Uh, Lewis is, basically has freedom to perform and uh, kind of move around in, in space. So, you know, this is really cool. You know, maybe I, I, I can tell, hey, Lewis, you know, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, what kind of character should we, should we animate? Should we animate kind of an angry character? Should we do like a happy character? Should we just have a slouchy guy kind of thing? And, and uh, the great part of this is that we can do this live and, and re record different portions and then we can build, you know, character um, behaviors that way. So this is something that you can do instantly inside of, of uh, Religion's Icon 7. So this is like preview mode. Uh, just kind of move around for me, Lewis, and uh, kind of uh, just do a dance or something. Uh, show the guys your moves. Show us what you got. <laughs> so he's, he's, you know, moving around. He's, he's you know... He's, it's like doing some, some, I don't know what, this is, this is uh, his exclusive moves over here. Oh, he just did the dab, no. <laughs> so yeah, you can, you know, kind of have fun with it, uh, kind of do character building, like, live. I'm basically seeing the character, like, I'm telling him, like, hey, you look a little too young, man. Act a little bit old, you know. My character's supposed to be 40 years old, you know. You know, kind of give me that. Uh, you know, that old feeling right now. So, you know, the, the amazing part of this is that I'm reading data live from, you know, Axis Neuron, and, uh, and it's streaming instantly into uh, iClone 7, uh, you know, in, in the laptop, basically, right now. So this is, uh, you know, first of its kind, you know, we, we, it's, it's something exciting, uh, exciting time to, to be alive right now where you can kind of have this, you know, instant, instant update. Uh, with the character, so um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's something where you can kind of uh, check out for Lewis. So we've already kind of tested out. He's kind of he's gonna do the you know the little 40, 50 year old man whatever move, and, and try to stay away from the cane. Come on, 50 year old guys are like you know <laughs> nowadays we're, we're they're tough man. So <laughs> he's just joking there. All right, so I'll, I'll just let him do you know by surprise. Let's see what he does. So I'm gonna hit stop on preview. And uh, once we're ready, I'm going to hit record, okay, so that we can start recording right away. So uh, let's hit record right now. And I'm going to tell uh, Lewis, go ahead, do a performance. So, he, you know, he's kind of doing some, 
some performance. It's like he's doing rehab or something. I'm not sure what he what he's up to. Uh, kind of thing. And and and. All right. So once we stop that recording, uh, one of the cool things is that we can uh, play back this animation. And you'll see uh, Lewis's animation playback uh, is no different from, you know, basically live streaming in a way. So this is really awesome. You know, if you want to edit, you can, you know, you have a lot of tools to, to edit, you know, with, with um, you have a timeline here in, inside of uh, iClone 7 to, to manipulate the animation or, you know, kind of blend it with other uh, per se. Uh, so this is, you know, instantly, right away, very easy to use um, system, uh, something that you guys can definitely use. And, and you know, a lot of guys are going to be saying, uh, what about, you know, the face animation? Uh, Revolution's got that covered for you. Um, you know, they have options also to, um, you know, animate the face if you want. Uh, let's say, let's go right here to, let's select the character. First, let me disconnect here. And let's make sure I have my character selected. Uh, so you, right here you have um, you know options uh, to, to manipulate the body, the face, a lot of features here. Um, one cool thing here is face puppet. So let me zoom in here and uh, show you guys a real quick uh, face animation here uh, with Relusion. Um, so uh, back again at the character. And let's go to Face Puppet. So once Face Puppet is open, um, you can actually uh, key these animation features inside of your um, software. So I would click on, you know, these are different characters that have different expressions. I'm just going to use uh, character Zane for this example. And if you look in here, this is a general face. This is a smiley face. This is angry. Uh, let's do the angry face. That's kind of the most expressive one. And I hit Preview. And then you'll see that instantly, um, with with you know preview mode, I can I can see how his, this character is moving his face. You know, this is the, these are motions that you can key track. Uh, so, you know, maybe oh, this guy is just angry that he's in, in, in you know doing some kind of rehab or something. <laughs> he doesn't want to be there, you know. Or maybe he's just uh, happy, for example. Um, same thing, you know, he's like, oh yeah, I'm so happy, kind of thing. So these are uh, really awesome uh, things that you can use with um, iClone, uh, iClone 7, uh, you know, and tools you can keyframe that. You can also import audio into this as well and, and kind of manipulate the, you know, the, the character's mouth movement. You can also edit that information. Uh, the guys at Reillusion have uh, revolutionized this process and made it very easy for artists, studios, and, and all sorts of backgrounds to, to get started with um, animation. Um, you know, create your big idea. Uh, you know, for, if it's for previs, if it's for studio, uh, final studio quality, you know, these guys have this covered. Um, so this is, this is really cool um, options that you have as well. So uh, let's see, right now we're still looking at Lewis there. So let's, let's tap back into Lewis right now and just show you guys, you know, we can go back into Lewis and be like, hey, Lewis, we got we to gotta record this again, you know, kind of thing. So, uh, you know, he, he's live right now, so he can uh, kind of move around and stuff like that. So, you know, he, he's moving around in space and kind of, um, uh, I guess he's like dancing and he's just angry or something. So, yeah, this is this is really cool features, you know, that you can definitely take advantage of and, and, and with, with um, Perception Run and Religion's Icon 7. And, and don't forget about um, character creator, you know, going back to what we, what we talked about, you know, basically we want you guys to um, know, uh, you know, how to use the, the work, how to use the workflow to your advantage, uh, most importantly. Uh, a lot of guys um, are, a lot of, are, you know, users are unaware that character creator is out there for you. And it's free. It's free with iClone 7. So take advantage of it. It's very useful. Um, if you don't have a, a modeling background or something like that, if you just want to, you know, get some characters on the go, uh, definitely use use your tools, um, uh, you know, that are that are available for you. Uh, so, 
And, 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 and again, that's, that's all the class that I wanted to show you guys. You know, this is all instant. This is all uh, on the fly. Um, you know, we can get creative and create a, you know, an amazing background scene and, and kind of populate this with, you know, our own props, for example. So, you know, definitely something that you, can, you guys can uh, take advantage of there. Uh, so, yeah, um, before it closes out, guys, I just want to make sure you guys are aware. If you guys have any questions, any concerns, uh, any feedback, we want to hear from you. Uh, and reach us out at contact at neuromocap.com. Uh, we definitely want to hear from you guys, any, any uh, questions you guys have, and anything that is. I want to thank you guys for joining us, and I will be wrapping this up, and uh, definitely look forward to hearing from you guys. Uh, and definitely look out for more videos, more live stream videos.